Hey guys, what is up? It is No Help, and welcome back to another video today. So today I'm going to do a different type of video, kind of just going over the whole RuneScape, or not the whole RuneScape, but a lot of the items in RuneScape and talk just about the economy right now and kind of honestly just how crazy the economy has been. So about two weeks ago, I just was going to decide on selling my Blood Runes. I probably have about 200 and maybe 230,000 or so blood runes that I've crafted now here on the alt account. And uh, I should have sold them two, three weeks ago when I was talking about it because they have crashed a lot, but a lot of other items have skyrocketed in price. It's just been nuts. So let's go over to the Grand Exchange and look at some items. All right, so we are just on the Grand Exchange website on the regular oldschoolrunescape.com and there's a bunch of categories here. I like how they have it, like the actual stock market kind of like thing at the top here. It's kind of cool how it does that. Um, so pretty much you can search any item in here and see the prices and then there's obviously just like the, um, the regular search button. So if I go ahead and search Blood Runes right here, and then it will bring up this and then you can go ahead and click on the blood rune right here and it will just show you kind of like the price of the blood rune so for example today's current price is 342 gp per blood rune and as you can see this is kind of the month chart of the blood rune right so pretty much like right here i was debating on selling them and i'm like ah you know they're gonna go up more and then like kind of just like look what pretty much happened they crashed a lot so pretty much in the past one month they went down about five percent which isn't a whole lot but 20 gp per blood rune when you have 200 and whatever thirty thousand of them definitely adds up if we go to the three month chart as well this is why i didn't want to sell them i thought they might go up again right so if i were to sell them here that would have been like a low price realistically for the blood rune and then if we go to the six month chart yeah they used to be like the lowest point they were like 277 gp each so they're never gonna like go below the elk value or whatever you could go ahead and sell them to alley or whatever for but uh who knows like i'm i'm waiting because i have so many of them and i don't want to sell them if i look at the trend for them too let's see it yeah they're going down so um yeah this is just like one item obviously but like if i look at the six month change 17 percent extra like 51 gp times 230,000. that's a lot of money that i like lost technically there Okay, so let's go to some price rises. These are the top 100 items that have risen in price. And then it shows like the uh, the amount that they've risen here. These are all probably just junk items for the most part. Probably nothing crazy in here that has gone up too, too much. Yeah, nothing really has gone up too much there. But let's go to the, uh, let's see if Price Falls has anything in there as well. They're all just junk items again. Probably, yeah, I would assume they're mostly junk items. Uh, so let's go to the most valuable trades. This is going to be interesting. Okay, so everything seems like it's going down and then it's going up and then it's going down. It's it's kind of a, a weird. So this is the last seven days of the most expensive trades. Um, so if we look at something like the Twisted Bow, right? This is something that I'm going for, obviously, on the alt account, the Tutorial Island to Twisted Bow account. And it's just everywhere man like look at the map the last month the it was it was 1.2 billion and now it's trading it's dropped like a hundred million a month let's go to the six month chart for the twisted bow it, yeah the twisted bow used to be like under a bill and then look at this rise like just in six months probably because the raids three is coming out people are getting super super excited and uh wanting to get twisted bows in order to you know take on the raid uh, I, I would assume that would probably be the reason, but like if you just look at some of these other items here, they've crashed a lot, like Torva's going down, like it's, like I'll just click Torva Plate Body to get a good example. Has it even been out for six months yet? Ew, whoa, it had a huge crash here. Um, but it's, it's peak was like 550 million and now it's trading for you know so it's 150 million gp less that it's pretty much just gone down which is kind of crazy we're just going over a bunch of these items here and this is something interesting as well the graze rapier i was debating on buying this just for fun honestly just to have like a cool weapon to train slayer with on the alt uh, it doesn't look like it's too dramatically different in price, but uh, it is dropping right now. I was actually going to be buying it around here for 130 million, so it's it's not like crazy. But pretty much the raids items that you would pretty much go ahead and use for raids are going up a lot. 
We're going to take a look quickly here. Look at the Dragon Hunter Lance, okay? This is the item that I really freaking want on my Iron Man, and I cannot seem to get a Hydra's Claw for the life of me. But uh, let's take a look at the 6th month chart for this. This one is going up a lot, too. Are people making alts? Are they getting ready for the uh, the Raids 3? But look at this. Like, just uh, at the start of the year, right? It was 60 million, and even with its crash now, it's about... it's went up like a ton like it's went up uh in the six months it's 31 percent up like it's just nuts on just like an item that you would just use all the time dragon claws are very interesting too um if we go to six months for the dragon claws look at the spike for them all of the items that you pretty much would use for combat are going up and just like to prove that in a way, look at something as simple as a prayer potion for dose. In the past six months, this item, oh my god, it had a huge drop here, but it's just continuously going up. They were as low as 10k, and now they're sitting at about 12k, and that's just like something that you would use in combat as well. Let's see something like shark, maybe sharks would have gone up, something like that too. Uh, yeah, you can still make a ton of money cooking, get 99 cooking, guys. Uh, let's see the sharks whoa they were a lot in february for some reason so something like sharks hasn't dramatically changed or anything like that and let's take a quick look here at the featured items what does this even mean zalra scales is the featured item has it had a dramatic change but like if you got to think about this like just something as simple as zalra scales have been continuously just going up I mean, they're on a little bit of a decline here now, but like all the items that you're going to be using for combat are just continuously going up. It's, it's kind of weird. This category here is called market movers and it has like all, all pretty much like items that get traded all of the time, like fire runes, Zalra scales, flax, ether, cannonballs, bowstrings. There's just so many of these things. What does this check mark mean? Uh, oh, members item um yeah all these items are listed on here and they're probably you know all going up or down depending on if they're used for combat or not um let's look at dragon bones i think they've actually been going up maybe not yeah so like i remember in around march actually they were like like they had a low of 1600 and now they're spiking again they holy shit like in just within a month they doubled in price probably people training their prayer right getting ready for the raid now they're going down and up again they're down but like look at that dramatic spike in just <laughs> dragon bones okay let's take a look at prayer scrolls so we have the uh decks let's see if this is gonna be changing nope that one's going down okay um and then let's look at the arcane six month chart for this one as well kind of going down okay um interesting yeah it's just weird to me that the entire like runescape come on what am I trying to say? The entire RuneScape economy has just been very weird lately, you know? We've had, like, I... The only reason I wanted to make this video is because some days I'll log in and my bank will be... On my Ironman anyways, it'll be, like, 950 mil. And then I'll check it, like, a week later and it's 850 mil. And it's like, I've been doing Slayer. I've been making money. Why have I lost so much money? Oh, shit. I lost fucking 40 mil in Blood Runes just because they've dropped so much or whatever it might be. Zalra skills are going up. And it's also the, you know, the opposite of that happens. I'll have 800 mil and then it will go up to 900 mil in a couple of days and it's just crazy how just like when jagex like announces that they're going to be going ahead and doing something that the prices of everything just everyone freaks out and panic sells panic buys whatever they need gets ready for an update i actually think it's really cool that it does this and that that uh people get so excited about these updates and stuff it's really cool to go ahead and see kind of how similar the grand exchange is to like the real stock market and the real economy and stuff like that but uh as for the tutorial uh, tutorial island of twisted bow series it kind of looks like we're in a good spot there's a dramatic drop here but it was like at january it was like a billion gp what is like it's kind of funny it, everything in real life drops in january that's kind of funny how that works and then just continuously going up and then i don't know why this dropped here but it dropped like 70 million gp like if you had this july 14th and then you 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 still have it today you lost 70 70 million gp that's crazy that just a runescape item can drop so much
Anyways, I just thought I'd make a little video and uh, talk about the RuneScape economy and tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. Do you think I should sell my blood runes now? Do you think I should, you know, hold on to them, keep them, wait till Raids 3 comes out and see what happens? Because the thing about Raids 3 coming out, right, is it's so hyped and the second it comes out, all the items are going to drop. That is just my guess on what is going to happen. Even these things have gone up significantly. I should have checked those. The blood essence have gone up so much. I'll actually quickly check those okay so this is the blood essence basically if you don't know this item pretty much just allows you to craft an extra 1000 uh blood runes so at the price where it is right now 230k if you can't sell your blood runes for 230 gp each then this is not worth it but look at how much this item has gone up in the past six months alone you used to be able to buy these things for 150k and now they're trading at like 230k there just continuously going up too just because so many people have been doing the blood rune crafting right and getting that 60% outfit and this has kind of made the price of all runes in the game just nuts I personally think that it is still going to be fine to go ahead and craft blood runes for a while. The good thing about blood runes is they're always going out of the game. Same as like nature runes. Pretty much all of the runes for the most part are always going out of the game. So that's why rune crafting is always super profitable. But the blood runes especially, people use those like crazy with their scythes and stuff like that. So if you are crafting blood runes let me know down in the comments if you are holding them until rage 3 or you know panic selling them now i just thought i'd make a video and uh let me let me know what you guys think about the whole economy thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you went ahead and watched the whole video smash the like button and i will catch you in the next one see ya later